no one escapes the stillness. Claire remembers the cold. She remembers abandoned cars and children's toys littered across the road. She remembers dark shapes in the snow and terror she can't explain, and then nothing. When she awakes, aching and afraid in a stranger's gothic home, he tells her she was in an accident. He claims he saved her. Claire wants to leave, but a vicious snowstorm has blanketed the world in white, trapping them together, and there's nothing she can do but wait. At least the stranger seems kind, but Claire doesn't know if she can trust him. He promised they were alone here, but she sees and hears things that convince her something else is creeping about the surrounding woods, watching, waiting. Between the claustrophobic storm and the inescapable sense of being hunted, Claire is on edge and increasingly certain of one thing. Her car crash wasn't an accident. Something is waiting for her to step outside the fragile safety of the house. Something monstrous. Something unfeeling. Something desperately hungry. This is Darcy Coates, one of my favorite authors. It is the Black Winter series. I read this in January. It is still in, well, it's April now, and it's still my top series that I've read. I devoured these books. January, I didn't get to read a whole lot, but I did read this entire series, and I read it pretty quick. Um, they're all about the same length. The last one might be a little bit longer, maybe 350 pages a piece, something like that. It uh, takes place in a kind of a dystopian setting. This... Uh, an event, a scientific event has happened, and um, it has changed people. It has changed the world. Um, electricity is out. The, there's storms. Travel is almost impossible. And there are things tracking people. So it's very um, intense. The last one I was reading, the last one, my hands hurt so bad from clenching the book, and I stayed up until like 3 in the morning trying to finish it because I just could not quit. <clears throat> There's four different kind of settings to the book with four different things the two people, Claire and Doran, are trying to accomplish, and uh, that's how the story moves forward. You do need to read the whole series. You need to read them in order. If you try to read one out of order, you won't know what's going on. But um, the characters are very good. You really can connect with them, and you feel desperation for them. You feel loss for them. You want them to succeed. It just was a very gripping story. And um, the process, it makes you stop and think, if this were to really happen, how would you handle it? What would you do? What would you be willing to give up to help humanity or help the situation and how far you would go. And um, I highly recommend it. It still is one of my favorite series, as I've said, and eventually I may go back and reread it. But um, Darcy has a, Darcy Coates has a habit of, most of her novels have like a gothic atmosphere in them somehow. And she uses the home where Claire first wakes up after having her accident. It's kind of an old Gothic mansion. So there is a creepiness factor there and a little bit of a Gothic feel to it. There is the, the love interest between Doran and Claire, and that kind of progresses as the book progresses. And so um, that's nice, and it's not too heavy romance. There's a lot of action in it. It does have a little bit of gore, not in every book, but some a little more than others. So if that bothers you, you might want to um, think about that. But it's I, I would recommend it for anybody. Anybody who likes mysteries, dystopian worlds, um, monsters, uh, thrillers, this will 
satisfy 100%. So check it out. Again, it's the Black Winter series from Darcy Coates. Here's some more Darcy Coates books. The Twisted Dead series, I'm missing one of those, but it's a really good, and it's a lighter um, horror. It's not as creepy and dark as a lot of her other books are. Hunted was also very good. Um, it's a little dark. And then her other series, um, House of Shadows, Secrets, those um, are all standalones. You could read those separately. So, um, again, she's one of my favorite authors. I would definitely look into her if you like dystopian, horror, um, thriller, a little bit of gore. If you can handle that, that's fine. Um, very, very good books. That's it. Um, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.